diabetes is becoming a major public health concern around the world. It currently affects nearly half a billion people and dramatically increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. Diabetes occurs when the pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin or when the body can't effectively use the insulin it produces. Type 1 diabetes can develop at any age, while type 2 diabetes, the more prevalent of the two, develops over time because of aging and other unhealthy lifestyle behaviours. Diabetes is a serious metabolic disorder and while there are medicines to help manage it, scientists are now looking at herbs such as rooibos to help manage the disease. Studies conducted by the South African Medical Research Council on rooibos's anti-diabetic properties span more than 10 years. Aspalathin, a unique antioxidant found only in rooibos, has shown to lower raised blood glucose levels effectively. What we have actually shown in our work and also collaborators overseas is that rooibos actually has an antioxidant effect and a strong anti-inflammatory effect. And through these two main parameters, it leads to the anti-diabetic effect. We've also shown that rooibos is able to increase insulin sensitivity, which will ameliorate or reduce the, the disease progression in terms of insulin resistance. And our collaborators overseas have shown that rooibos can actually protect the pancreatic beta cells. We've also shown cardioprotective effects, so protection of the heart in the diabetic state. We've shown that rooibos is able to modulate cholesterol, particularly LDL, which is the bad one. Uh, but primarily, rooibos elicits its effects through the antioxidative properties and anti-inflammatory properties. We've shown that specific components of rooibos, in particular aspalathin, which is unique to rooibos, has been shown to work in the liver to reduce the accumulation of fat, so non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which then enables the liver to metabolize glucose, to use glucose better. We've shown that aspalathin with two other um, polyphenolic constituents of rooibos, which is isoorientin and orientin, have actually been able to reduce inflammation, but also to increase mitochondrial bioenergetics. So in simple terms, it makes the powerhouse of your cells, the mitochondria, work more effectively. A rooibos-based anti-diabetic nutraceutical has also been developed, which could be of tremendous value to those suffering from diabetes. Rooibos, in conjunction with a healthier lifestyle, here we're talking about reducing your fat intake, reducing your carbohydrate intake, specifically refined carbohydrates and sugars, as well as increasing your exercise, uh, will definitely have a beneficial effect, both in terms of controlling your sugars if you are a diabetic, but also generally prevent the progression of metabolic disease towards diabetes. Drinking rooibos in conjunction with a healthy lifestyle will go a long way in preventing and managing diabetes.